So I'm here at Ikea and I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing a little shopping for maybe some accessories for a small bathroom renovation that I'm going to be doing here in the next couple of weeks. I'm really excited about that. So let's get our creative juices flowing and go find a few items that we can do some really simple hacks on. So let's get shopping. it's kind of a random thing to be looking at but I'm looking at the toilet paper holders here and I noticed this one now I ordered one off of Amazon that looks almost identical I've got a hack already planned so I'm gonna get this one for $2.99 because I love the price I'm definitely gonna do something with this little set of baskets super cute As per usual, I have bought way more than I anticipated. <laughs> they just have such good prices and I just have a lot of fun here. So <laughs> I better get checking out here. All right, I feel really good about my purchases. So now it's time to get back to my studio and start hacking them. All right, so we're back from shopping and I am about to shame my Scandinavian heritage by slaughtering these Ikea names, but we're gonna start out with this fun little find. I actually decided to go hit up the as is clearance section on my way out the door, but I found this little jewel and it's called the Skogsta. <laughs> stool and it was already assembled and ready to go and it looked like it was in pretty good shape and what I've got planned is I already had this piece it's gonna be perfect to go along the edge of our stool seat and we are just gonna attach that to the edge using some e6000 and some hot glue just for that instant stick and it's gonna kind of dress that up a lot now when I start I don't actually glue it down at the beginning of the banding and that is because I want some flexibility flexibility when I get to the end to match it up in the most even possible manner. I want to try to get the spacing of those faux nail heads as even as possible. And to do this at the end, I use a box cutter blade and some scissors to kind of match it up and it turned out pretty good, I think. On the bottom of the stool, we also have these screw heads. It just doesn't look very finished or polished, and I want to disguise them. So I have these push pins you might have recognized from another IKEA hack episode I did, and they kind of match this trim, right? So I'm gonna take these outside and spray paint them in black, and we are going to just hot glue these into place to cover up these screw heads. And if we need to take a wire cutters to clip off the tip of it so it will fit in there good it should be fine it doesn't need to be structural it's totally decorative and that's it for this ikea hack it's amazing that just adding a little decorative trim and adding some little finishing details can make such an impact but it does whether it ends up in this bathroom makeover that i'm doing or not it will remain to be seen and i just really love how this turned out this rug is $3.99. I really like this rug and I feel like it has so much potential to do quite a lot with it. So we are going to just kind of zhuzh this up. It kind of already has this natural like tone on tone French stripe. So I thought that we could kind of just enhance that a little bit by taking a little bit of paint and making it pop a little bit more. We're gonna have a lot of blacks and creams and whites going on in this bathroom. So I thought it would be really cool to add some French stripes to this. Because these natural stripes are so close together, we're going to need to do one stripe at a time. And I do this by taking some painter's tape and taping on either side of the raised area, pressing it down to the fabric. And we're gonna simply just take some black chalk paint and feel free to use whatever color of chalk paint matches your decor and paint the stripe, allowing it to fully dry. And 
then we're going to peel back the painter's tape. And then we will just repeat the process and tape off the other stripe just exactly as we did before, just on the other side, following that natural stripe. Once that second stripe is dry, we pull back the tape and this might be our easiest IKEA hack of the day. I absolutely love how our $4 rug turned out. It looks way more high-end than that. Now you could repeat this process on the other side in a different color or leave it natural, but either way, this rug is completely reversible. So what do you think of this hack? Is it something you would try? So for my next Ikea hack, and I forgot the name of these, so no, I don't have to slaughter it, <laughs> but I got these little soap dispensers. They were 99 cents a piece. It's a little boring, to be honest with you. All we're gonna do is just give it a little facelift by spraying it in a matte black. This will be perfect because I've got a lot of matte black features going into this bathroom makeover. I did about three coats of matte black spray paint and after they dry, we bring them inside and remove the tape. I decided not to paint anything that would be inside the container because I didn't want to contaminate the soap and the lotion and I just didn't know how the paint would react. I thought it was fine like this. Now I made a free printable and there will be a link for it in the description box below. Just follow the instructions there. All you need to do is print it out on sticker paper. I will link some waterproof sticker paper in the description box as well. And then you just cut that out and then peel off the backing and stick them to your jar. It's as simple as that. When including the sticker paper and the paint, you're looking at about $2.50 to $3 for the pair. And I think it looks so cute and will be such a nice touch on my brand new vanity that I will be installing in my bathroom. Such a simple hack, but it makes all the difference. What do you think? So for our next Ikea hack, we are gonna be using the Skogs Vicken toilet paper holder. I really wanna make for my bathroom like a cell phone shelf. I know you're all so stoked about that, but I have this piece of scrap wood and I'm just gonna take it and cut it down outside. And then I just take my palm sander and give it a really good sand down, making sure to focus on the edges to take down those corners so there's no sharp edges. Then I take it inside and coat the entire thing with an antiquing wax. Once that's dry and to even out the finish a little bit, I just take a little bit of sandpaper and do a light sanding. I got these brackets from homedepot.com. I just ordered them online and had them shipped to my local store for free. And they're actually meant to be decorative elements for like outdoor timber work. They were about $3.70 each. And now I'm gonna just use them as shelf brackets. But as you can see, this hole is meant for really large screws. Well, we don't need that much support for what we're doing. So I went outside and I spray painted some screws and some washers that I had on hand. That way it will just cover up the hole and make it nice and tight. Now that they're dry, we're going to take these washers and screws and attach our brackets to the shelf. And I just use a speed square to make sure the brackets are lined up to the edge. Then I just pre-drill some holes to get the screw started, but being careful not to drill all the way through. Then I take our washer and screw and securely fasten the brackets to the shelf. Now it's time to attach our Ikea toilet paper holder and I put a roll of toilet paper on it just so I could kind of see how it was spaced and how it would work out. Now I just eyeballed this. I really didn't measure, but I looked at where it was and made sure it looked appropriate. And then when I was happy, I marked where my screws needed to go and pre-drilled those holes as well. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I'm just gonna temporarily install this for display purposes, but I will be removing this as this wall really needs to be painted. And you can also see in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen that there is also an existing toilet paper holder that is crazy far away from the toilet. And I want you to think about how hilarious that is when you have kids and how are they going to reach the toilet paper. Just think about that for a second. Yeah, <laughs> I know you feel my pain. Anyways, we mount it to the wall almost identically as we mounted it to the shelf bracket, except for this time we, we, you will want to use some drywall anchors so that it is nice and sturdy. And you also wanna make sure it's also level. Again, this is just kind of a temporary solution for right now. I'm not even sure if this is the exact location where I will leave it as I will be removing it to start my bathroom renovation. Now, I am not one to talk bathroom talk, trust me, <laughs> but tell me how handy is this little shelf going to be? You know you all take your cell phones into the bathroom with you and then you're constantly wondering where you're gonna put it when it's that time. In total, I probably spent just over $10 and I think it's just awesome. What do you think? In my bathroom makeover, I am gonna be having some shelves and I thought it would look really cute to have some baskets with lids. And I was so excited to find these ones at Ikea, but I thought we could dress them up just a little bit. Now, what I was thinking on this one is something really simple. I'm just gonna take some buttons from my Dollar Tree button stash and we are going to sew them on with jute twine to create a button closure. First, I find out where I want to place it, just kind of in the center near the bottom of the lid. Then I simply sew it on through the hole just one time using a large needle and then I knot it on the back. And then for a little added security, I put a little hot glue on the back as well, but that's completely optional. I repeat this process on the smaller basket with a smaller button. Then I decide I want to loosely attach it on the back by just doing a simple knot through the lid and the top of the basket so you can open it easily. Now this is optional, but it does add a little extra security. Then we need a little loop for the button to fit into. And I decided to use some wired jute for this, but you could totally just use regular jute as well. I just cut a loop of that and hot glued it into place. Then I repeated this all on the smaller one as well. This was such a simple thing to do, probably took less than five minutes, and it elevated it just enough to give it a lot more personality. Right now, it, it's displays just on the back of a toilet, but I've got some really cute shelves that I'm going to be installing, and I think these will look great on there, and I can use them for storage, and it just goes to show you that sometimes small, simple changes can elevate it just enough. Last but certainly not least, I've taken a couple of their small baskets and some greenery and we are gonna just set them in the baskets. But just like that, it's a little boring. I mean, it's cute enough, but I thought just to add once again, a little bit of elevation that we would add some little chalkboard tags. For the first basket, all I do is take a Dollar Tree chalkboard tag and a chalkboard pen and write the word fresh and cursive. I really do not like my handwriting, especially after having a Cricut machine, but it'll do I guess. Then I just take a small clothespin and attach that to the top of the tag and then I hot glue that to the basket and then place my greenery in it. Literally anybody could do this. <laughs> then I wanted to do something slightly different for my other basket so I went with a chalkboard tag 
that's actually more like a cardstock paper that I also got from Dollar Tree. And I cut the top portion of the tag off. Then I write the word clean. Then I take a pokey tool, and that's the technical name for that. <laughs> and I poke holes in all four corners. Because I bumped the lettering while it was still wet, I wanted to disguise that, so I got a regular piece of chalk and kind of just rubbed it on to give it that real chalkboard effect. And then I hot glued it onto the front of the basket. Then I take some tiny nails that I had on hand and hot glue those into the four corners so it looks like I nailed it into place. And that's it for that one. I love greenery in any room, especially a bathroom. It just gives such life. Now, I would totally do real plants, except for I just cannot seem to keep them alive. I don't know if I'm just too busy or too distracted or just don't have a knack for that, but I kill them and then I feel bad about it. So these will have to do, but I love how these turned out and all of these DIYs have me so excited to get going on my bathroom renovations. So I'm gonna stop editing now and go get started on that for you. If you enjoyed this episode, here's another one that I think you'll like as well. And to all of my DIY Niners, I just want to remind you that you are more powerful than you know. We'll see you next time, bye.